General Quarters. Tylus, you should be in sick bay. I'll finish this. She got a new shirt. I couldn't just lie there knowing the entire fate of Hotari hangs in the balance. How did it go? You look exhausted. Uh. I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty rough. Oh no. That's what I was afraid of. I heard a rumor that they'd made a deal, that the Elidians agreed to peace. After what we saw Sidron do to the diplomat in the mines, I could hardly believe there was hope, but then... Is that true? I'm afraid the truth is far worse than that. There's no deal. No. They're all to con now. The Hatari, the Elidians, everyone. No. That can't be true. I'm sorry. Inconvenient truth. Where will I go? I can't go back. I don't have a home anymore. Everything I've ever known is gone. Hotari isn't lost yet. This is far from over. It will be your home again, I promise. Thank you. It's a hard thing to promise, but we'll do our the best. The Federation stands with the Hotari. You don't have to doubt it for a second. Yellow alert. Commander Rydick, we need you on the bridge immediately. Oh, I'm going to have to make some freaking impossible decision again. She <laughs> neutral. It's all neutral decisions so far. I got to I got to see this. Tylus was devastated to hear the disturbing news from Hotari, but took solace in Jara's word of reassurance. I wonder if we had told her that she has a place here, if she would have been happier. I don't, I don't know. Commander. Yes! Good to have you back. You didn't opt for the ocular implants. Maybe someday. The visor was the best the doc could do on short notice. I was hoping they'd give her a visor. We got That's an awesome. ship, the Veskar, rapidly bearing down on our position. Or what was the Veskar? Now I'm not so sure. Bring it up on the view screen. 600 kilometers in closing. Still coming straight for us. Oh, it's mm. covered with crystals. Commander. Should we put our shields up? Just as a precautionary measure. I'd like to avoid escalating this any more than we have to. Whatever the hell this is. 400 kilometers in closing. Shields up. Ready, phaser. Like <laughs> Shields up. Phasers ready. It's incoming. Holy Lock crap. Phasers and open fire. Heavy damage. But deflectors still at full power? That bypassed our shields entirely. That's impossible. God damn it, return fire. Everything we've got. Right, it. Modulate the shield frequencies. See if you can get us any cover. Oh, man. Commander, I... I just keep firing. Okay. Right in my shield frequency. Shields still have no effect. That doesn't make sense. I'll try another. Oh. Invert shield polarity? I don't know. There. We've got incoming. How do they keep matching our shield frequency? They couldn't. Unless. They've compromised our shield algorithms. They can bypass our shields at will. What? Ah. Ah. Captain. I He's knew we were going to have to take charge. <laughs> no. I mean, yes, he sucks anyways. Why'd they stop? Damage report. Running on emergency power. Major hull damage on decks four through seven. Warp core is stable and intact. We're completely vulnerable. Commander, we're being held by the Beskar. It's Galvin. They don't want to destroy us. They want to take us over. On screen. Look at that shit-eating grin. Commander Rydak, where's your captain? Not dead, I hope. 
At least, not yet. You're dealing with me. Is that a problem? One inferior life form is as good as another. I have to give you credit, Commander. You survived longer than I thought you would. But make no mistake, your shields are useless, your weapons ineffective, and there's nothing you can do. I could destroy you at any moment, but I'd rather hear your pleas for mercy first. Your existence is entirely in my hands, mm. and I'm not in a forgiving mood. Time to make some moves. It's entirely possible you could destroy us. But the truth is, we're worth more to you alive than dead. Better if we report back to Starfleet about the power of Taconian technology, and the futility of fighting it. There might be value in that. I've been thinking about what you said, Commander. You claimed I would be held accountable. And here I am. Hold me accountable. You remembered! Damn it! The Veskar's weapons are powering up. Are the crystals normally on their ship, or is that the Takan so crystals? To I assume it's Takan stuff. there's merit to the idea you're worth more than me alive. Tell your Federation that Takan are as merciful as they are powerful. That you were fortunate to escape with your lives. But next time, you may not be so lucky. I think we'll keep playing this if game. you're even brave enough to face me again. We appreciate your mercy. And you rely on it. See, we can make them, we can use their overconfidence against them. See, we're in his good graces. I've lost their signal. Can you track their warp signature? Nothing. It's untraceable, just like before. Notify Ambassador Spock. I want everyone in the briefing room to discuss our options. I don't think it does any good to piss them off, right? What's the status of the repairs? Hull breach should be patched up in a matter of hours. Impulse power is at 67%. Should be fully restored soon. Although I did piss them off earlier. tracking Galvin's warp signature. They've all but disappeared. Keep trying. Finding that son of a bitch is the best shot we got. Commander Ryder, you had the con after the ship was attacked. What is your assessment? Given our current situation, and the losses we have suffered. It would appear we are severely outmatched. In that case, we might have an option. Portal 6-3. Yes. Guardian of the Takan Empire. If anyone could find Galvin, it would be him. That's assuming he's willing to help us. True, but there's only one way to find out. Wouldn't we need to secure authorization from the Federation Council to contact him? The nearest Federation outpost is Andoria. I can travel there by shuttle and inform them personally of the threat from the Takan. Meanwhile, the Resolute can travel to the Delphi Ardu system in search of Portal 63. I still have my doubts. I do not. Captain William T. Riker has first hand experience with the area and with Portal 63. His guidance will prove invaluable and should alleviate your concerns. Delphi Ardu 4 is a restricted zone for good reason. For all we know, we could be walking into a trap. Not to mention the high likelihood Portal 6-3's allegiance will be with the Takan. It's just too much of a risk. A waste of time. Time we can't afford to lose. <laughs> look at the look on our face. We're just like, ugh. According to Commander Riker's records of meeting Portal 6-3, he was willing to listen to reason. We may be able to convince him that Galvin is wrong. Or he'll just be happy to learn his civilization is making a comeback. In which case, we only compound the problem. I am inclined to agree with Commander Rydek. 
where logic is sound. This portal may have knowledge that proves to be invaluable, including information on the nature of the cartabula. We must act on the facts at hand. Then we'll give it our best. I'll arrange a meeting with Captain Riker. And I will speak with the Council. They need to understand the magnitude of the situation. I can leave for Andoria immediately. I wish you luck finding Portal 63. Very future of the Federation may rest in your hands. You don't need a subtitle for that one. I got a feeling that this group of Takan is an offshoot, like maybe they were imprisoned there. There's a crew on the bridge to run the ship, so we can expect at least that many hostiles. If they bioformed Hadri, they know we're coming. They have their own name, right? Which means it's... everyone needs to be ready for... Might have been like a rebel group. Take cover! Oh, shoot! I <laughs> hit the right stick and the left stick. I'm glad they t doesn't matter if you hit the wrong button. We need that door sealed. We can handle that. Where do you need us? There's an access panel there. You should be able to patch into the local systems. We'll be shot getting there. I'll cover you. On my signal. Now! It's <laughs> a little chance. Waddling over. Yeah. <laughs> I like the waddling walk. <sighs> the humor diffuses the tension. I think once you get into the middle, you just need to rotate around. What's this? Just keep rotating this. Gravity. If I invert the artificial Stick. gravity inside the bridge, that'll throw anyone on the bridge right up into the ceiling. He'll never see it coming. It's Asuka. Get ready to charge. Charge? Throw some gravity polarity. Now! <laughs> I love it. What a move. This is what I love about Amazing. this game. Close it. It's, it's more about like science-based solutions. There's some action down. too, but like, this is fun. <laughs> this is what Star Trek's all about. What are we gonna do with them? We don't have time to take prisoners. So you're just gonna shoot them? I haven't decided yet. That's not just up to you. I'm the ranking officer. Just shoot them. Not in your army. These prisoners can be useful to us, but if you kill them, we'll never know. I can live with that. Well, I can't. You're an engineer, not a soldier. This is clearly my territory. You think you have enemy combatants here? This is a hostage situation. Each one of them has an innocent life inside. Mm. I'll keep watch on them. It's a good way As to think will of it. I. We can't let our guard down around the enemy. Petty Officer Diaz and I will figure out how to stop the ship. Let's hurry. The rest of the Takan could show up any minute. I did want to take a second to let people know about a game called As Dusk Falls, which I played, I think it was last year, and it was on Game Pass, if I remember correctly. It has a really good story with some really interesting characters and some really tough decisions, too. I'd highly recommend uh, playing it or checking it out if you enjoy this kind of game. Less than an hour. You can't let that happen. Hold on, it would take days to go this distance with our fastest ship. We're traveling at a warp factor many times greater than this ship should even be capable of. What are the engines doing to produce this kind of speed? It's the crystals, eh? Oh, whoop! I can't go down the stairs. <laughs> it's too hard. It's interesting. Look. These crystals are Takan technology. They seem to be active, just like the rest of their tech. Tetrametric pulses. Tetrametric? 
It's the energy signature of Takan technology. Everything they make gives off this type of radiation. So I wonder if they're blocking the inputs. We can use that. It's not responding at all. Everything I try, it just ignores me. Maybe we should try that other console. Good idea. Really can't pretty. catch up to us. We're in a whole different kind of trouble. Maybe we can overload that type of radiation or something. There are two interfaces on top of each other. This, this is not Alidian programming. Even know what that means? Overload the radiation. Everything under control? Yes. At least Takan haven't made a move yet. And what you're doing is working. There's plenty more I can do, but it doesn't have to be that way. As long as they behave. So you're just standing there. Couldn't we put like handcuffs on them? Like he said he didn't have time to huh. imprison them. Be prisoners. Careful where you point that. Thing. Oh yeah, he hasn't seen this yet, right? It's not active. I can't see any way this will work as a weapon. It's dead. Out of ammo? Not sure. Okay, scan it. These guys. Any trouble? Don't worry about me worry about Stretch over there. Why? He's looking for any excuse to vaporize the prisoners. But I'll make sure he doesn't. Even if they're the enemy, it's not right. I'm here if you need a hand. Just hurry up and figure out this bridge. That's the best way to help. Um, can we use the tricorder on? She's one of them! Kill her! <laughs> uh. Yeah. Maybe there's something we can discover scanning this. It's the Takan language. From what I can tell, the ship's systems are actively responding to input. Which is the opposite of how most bridges work. They usually send commands, not receive them. It's from an intrusive program. This control station won't do us any good either. What have they done to this bridge? Consoles running themselves, some clogged up with crystals that are sending off tetrametric pulses. But none of this is sending signals outward. It's receiving. They're flying the ship from somewhere else. That should be impossible. But it explains why there's less than a full bridge crew. The pulses. They aren't flying the ship from the bridge. Where are they controlling it from? Some information be, being sent over the pulses, maybe? Through the crystals? See, that's why we need to keep them alive so we can question them. No? Where's the captain? Captain Ostego did not survive the atmosphere poisoning. I'm sorry to hear that. He died defending the Empire. That's how he'd want it. Yes. Scan them. Yeah. This console looks unaffected. The engine's a red line, running at full power. But this main drive manifold is spiking way over nominal levels. Very dangerous. Even at 100% output, the warp cores wouldn't push this much plasma to the drive section. The reactor output matches the high speed, doesn't it? Whether it's these crystals, or the power from the cartabula, the Takana found a way to increase the engine output and top speed. 
have to find a way to hit the brakes before we outrun anyone who could help us. We stop it, so they can't get this ship where they're going, and enact the next phase of their plan. That is, if they don't destroy us all first. I would have thought this ship would disintegrate going this speed. But somehow, that hasn't happened yet. So what is their endgame? They've transformed individuals, they've transformed this ship, in a way. How far will they go? As far as we let them. The technology certainly doesn't seem to have limits. I hate to think what the Cartabula could do if it was plugged into something it was meant to power. That's everything. We got some answers. I don't like what they tell us, though. If we can learn nothing else, then what's left is to make these Takan talk. And if they don't, we'll dispose of them. Hey, that's not how we do this. That is enough from you. Got a good cop, bad cop them. Oh! Sorry to see how much time I had. I thought that thing was useless. It was. No power. Maybe there's some kind of bio signature. Weapons must be bio coded. Our technology will only work for one of our kind. I can assure you, this weapon works just fine for me. Slow down, Armita. <laughs> you can't control this ship with a disruptor. But I can use it to control you. Wait, maybe? I mean, could we knock him out and just use his hand <laughs> to direct the weapon? Or like push, Let's talk. push the buttons? Is that, is that ethical? <laughs> Number one. <gasps> the Titan's communications officer says Captain Riker will be ready in just a moment. Wait, we're we actually going to see this. To him. The report on the data breach. Damn, it's worse than I'd hoped. They didn't just compromise our shields. They stole the shield algorithms for all of Starfleet as well. Meaning every ship is potentially vulnerable to attack. Making this so much worse than it already was. I think we gotta push this. Given the potential consequences, we should notify Starfleet as soon as possible. I don't disagree, but uh, I'll reach out to Ambassador Spock about it. I don't want to cause a panic. And I doubt he does either. I have Captain Riker for you. Let's not mention any of this shield business to Riker just yet. Put him through. Captain Riker, this is my first officer, Commander Jara Rydek. My pleasure. Sir. I wish we were all meeting under better circumstances. So do I, although you and I have actually met before. We have. I was a young lieutenant on the Potemkin. You were first officer on the Tuckerman. I piloted you and our science officer in a shuttle to survey quantum residence in the planetary rings of Residia 6. Ah, oh, yes. Now I remember. You know, he gave me some good advice that day about a very difficult job. Yours. Well, I'm not one to turn down some words of wisdom, sir. Then let me ask, as first officer on a starship, where does your responsibility lie, first and foremost? Uh... To the captain, the crew, or the ship itself? Oh, this old chestnut. I am curious to hear what she says, though. Ugh. Ultimately, my responsibility is to the crew at large. The needs of the many. You have been hanging around Ambassador Spock. But the truth is, it's a trick question. Every situation is different, and there are no easy answers. And in some cases, it might not be any of those three. It could be the prime directive or the mission. Yes, so perhaps we should get to the matter at hand. Fair enough. When you were with the Enterprise, you encountered a Takan entity known as Portal 63. The Enterprise was held captive in orbit until you were able to convince him to let the ship go. All of which is detailed in the mission report. What we want from you is what we can't get from the report. What can we use to get Portal 63 to help us? I've often thought about that over the years. How a small difference in the encounter could have led to disaster. 
The most important thing is, don't let him push you around. He can appear as a man or as a godlike projection. He'll test you, but don't be overwhelmed by the pageantry and theatrics. Hmm. I'll stand up to him. You can trust in that. We've been able to do that. Good, but that's just the first step. Reason too. Portal is full of bluster and bravado, but he can be reasoned with. And that's my other piece of advice. You want to appeal to him rationally. You don't want him thinking you're acting out of fear. But we are afraid of the Takan, and with good reason. He's not the sort to suffer fools, and he'll lose interest if he feels his time is being wasted. I suppose that's one thing we have in common. Do you think he knows that the Takan have returned? He didn't even know they were gone when we went there. But the moment the Enterprise dropped into orbit around Delphi Ardu 4, he downloaded the entirety of the ship's computer. Mm. So I'd expect the same when you get there. Right. What if he won't cooperate and we have to face these Takan ourselves? Then we have a much bigger problem on our hands. What I mean is, in the 16 years since you discovered this outpost, there has to have been research. Battle plans for what to do about the Takan if we encountered more of them. I need to know what they are. If I had that answer, it would have been the first thing I told you. We both know Command has had their share of hidden plans in the past. Like Admiral Hansen and Captain Shelby's Special Projects Division at Starfleet Tactical. Devising new ways to take on the board. Trust me. This isn't some Starfleet conspiracy to keep you in the dark. But if you two don't think you're equipped to make contact, you need to tell me now. Because there is no silver bullet here. Now's not the time to hesitate. I need to know you're up to this. Were you equipped to meet Portal 63 all those years ago? I'm here, aren't I? Yes, you are. And we have the benefit of your experience on our side. Fair enough. Oh. There was a special task force that considered the Takan, and I was part of it. Ah! Because there were no other signs of the Empire. We determined the best course of action was to create a restricted zone around the Delphi Ardu system. I have my concerns, but I'll clear the way with the brass for your travel into the restricted space. Just remember what I've told you. And it wouldn't hurt to read some Sun Tzu en route. Or Marcus Aurelius. Anything else? Machiavelli? I don't plan on failing, Captain Riker. That's just the attitude you'll need to bring with you. Rest assured, the Federation is taking this threat very seriously. You won't be alone out there for too long. Thank you, Captain Riker. One more thing. Ambassador Spock said that Takan stole some data from your central computer. What's that all about? We're still assessing the extent of the breach. Nothing to report as of right now. That's it? Ambassador Spock suggested it was something more serious. <sighs> Which is why I'm asking. Fuck it! One thing we know is that they stole Starfleet shield algorithms. The shield algorithms? That could jeopardize every ship in the fleet. We're still making sure our assessment is accurate. We don't want to raise alarms unnecessarily. This is as real as it gets, Solano. I have to talk to Starfleet Command now, so I think this conversation has come to an end. I really do hope you get Portal 63 and find those to con before this gets out. He of already control. hates us. <laughs> right around. I don't think we're risking I much. specifically said I wanted to keep this under wraps. I thought we had an understanding. Now all of Starfleet will hear about this. Considering this is new information Ambassador Spock doesn't have yet, I figured Captain Riker would be the closest to communicate directly with Starfleet Command. Now the cat's out of the bag. Oh no, your reputation. I about the damage control of it all. You're dismissed. We have to have a talk with this guy, like a serious sit down and just be like, listen, buddy, your priorities are all messed up. It's the automated Federation warning buoy. That's exactly what Transmitting I'm... Listen, the buddy. Code Captain Riker provided. That was cool. What do you guys think of that Riker appearance? It works with the story, so it doesn't bother me, but I kind of wish it was an entirely separate story with totally different characters, but that, that was, was nice. Pleasant. Commander Ermont, what are the conditions of our systems? All internal systems operational. Commander Westbrook, what are your scans of the planet? Nothing out of the ordinary. No sign of this 
outrageously powerful Takan being? I'm running a magneton scan now, but so far, nothing. Where are you? I'm really curious to see team. what he's going to say. We don't know if Portal 6-3 will cooperate. He's not an asset. He's an enemy. So be ready for anything. This is going to be great!